Hello once again, this is Jerry. Welcome back to another set of EP2 Express Tutorial. On today's session, we're going to do select statement. This time we're going to restore more of the select statement. Apply work clause to filter rules, filter with comparison operators, and the use of between hand clause. So far, what we have discussed our data definition language. We have used create, drop, alter, and declare. And the DML or the data manipulation language statements are select, insert, update, and delete. During the installation of DB2 server, we have included sample database. And this would be the entity relations diagram of that database. This is only the partial tables. This is not the composition of all the tables on sample database. We have included only employee, department, project, and mproj act. Let us open our database. We're going to connect to sample. And these are the tables inside the database. Select statement retrieve rows of data from a given table. So far, we have used star or asterisk to display all columns from a table. However, we may include only certain tables that require certain listing. On this case, we have this syntax. As you could see, each column must be separated by a comma. The arrangement of the column on a table is insignificant. This means you may display column name 2 first before the column name 1. Let us see first the structure of our table employee. If we want to display only first name, middle initial, and last name, we issue the given statement. Tables may contain millions of rows. If we want to isolate particular data sets, we use the word predicate. Predicate clause here may include comparison or relational operators, logical operators, in, between, among others, in one or more filtering conditions. Comparison or relational operators are equals to, lesser than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to or not equal to. So we're going to use these symbols. Let us have few examples to use the word clause. You are required to determine the employees who have finished 18 years of schooling from the employee table. List last name, first name, job position, and education level. To fulfill this requirement, we issue the following script. And here is the result. Here we specify column ed level as the filtering condition. From the 42 rows of employee, the script generated 7 rows that has 18 years of schooling using the work clause. How about if the requirement wants to filter all clerk, field rep, and operator? The best approach here is to use an in operator within the where predicate. Let us try this one. We 
this is the result. The text item in the list of in operator must be enclosed with single quote, separated by a comma. Make sure to enclose the entry list with parentheses. How about if you need to determine records for a set of values in a range? Let us consider this problem. We're going to list the last name, first name, the job, and the salary of all employees receiving salary ranging from $30,000 to $40,000. Here we're going to insert between and end in the script. The script used salary to test the range of values that falls between 30,000 to 40,000. Between and clause is perfect when filtering values that set range. You may filter rows using where with multiple conditions. Logical operators such as and, or, or not can be used for specific format. Our next problem will display all employees who are receiving salary $60,000 or more. We need to include last name, first name, job, and salary. On this problem, we're going to exclude president and manager of the company. And here is our script. If you like to see the script of the video presented, please click the link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Buy the book for more challenging exercises with solutions. Visit our Facebook and Twitter account. Bye!